Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video where we're going back finally to the Conspiracy Grotesca, where we are going through Thomas Ligotti's The Conspiracy Against the Human Race. And I don't have the book here because I'm a dummy and I forgot to grab it. But also the short horror fiction of his in Teatro Grotesco. And I keep saying it like that and I hate that I do that. I don't even know if that is the right accent that you would have with something like that. So it's been a while since we've gone through this stuff. But to give a recap, basically um, the idea behind the conspiracy against the human race. This is philosophy, okay? And the idea behind this is, is that um, humans were cursed with consciousness. And because of that, um, we're screwed, basically. Like, we've gone over quite a bit so far. And, and I'll um, card the thing right there. If you would like to go back and watch from the beginning. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you my two cents with this because we are cursed with consciousness where we're sitting there going well what's next what where what what can we do now like what and we just start asking all these questions that no other creatures on the planet ever ask every every other creature's whole thing is like i am going to eat and sleep and procreate because that's what I did on Tuesday and now it's Wednesday, okay? But because we have this whole thing where we ask questions, um, it has basically screwed us in the back door. There's a lot of Schopenhauer talking here and there's a lot of Zaff talking here. In fact, one of the books or essays that he talks about over and over again is The Last Messiah by Zaff. So I'm really interested in picking that up and looking at it. The other thing is, is that mankind is doomed, okay? The earth is eventually going to run out of natural resources and we continually be fruitful and multiply to the point where there is gonna come a time when um, like we have put ourselves into a threat of extinction just by us trying to procreate, I guess, is the best way to put it. I mean, there's a lot more to it than that, but um, that's the gist. Um, the other thing about this book that's great is that because he is an author and he is a horror author, um, every once in a while he'll hit um, talking about all this stuff and talking about the human race and all this stuff. And then he'll say, and for writers of supernatural horror, blah, 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 blah. And so there's all these like cool little bits. And there's one of those, um, in this section today. So today we're going through hopelessness and debatability. Okay. Now in the, I guess this is the end of, um, the last Messiah the main figure here says know yourself be infertile and let the earth be silent after ye and um because of this the pacifier makers and the midwives attack him i guess the whole idea here is is that just and the whole idea of this part like this whole thing isn't just about not having kids but the whole idea that the more and more we bring into this world to take away the resources from this world. Um, we are inching ourselves and mankind to extinction. Because of that, we are ensuring our lineage suffering. And the suffering doesn't just start with extinction. The suffering, if you've been watching these videos at all, starts from day one of consciousness, knowing that all of us are going to die. To have that constantly playing in the background of your mind, and then in other parts of this, um, 
Ligotti talks about how we constantly try to distract ourselves from the knowledge that death is imminent. One little bit in here that I loved, um, especially the, the first time I read this, this like jumped out at me like crazy. There was a Canadian research scientist named Michael Persinger. And what he did um, in the 1980s, he modified a motorcycle helmet to affect the magnetic fields of the brain, um, of the brain of the person who had the helmet on. And it gave um, a variety of strange sensations because of this. Um, and the subjects who ex experienced this in the study said that uh, they felt themselves like subject to supernatural phenomena that included ghosts and gods. And this thing, like atheists, like jumped on this and was like, see, 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 we told you. I don't know. It's just it's just a really interesting thing that um, something that we look at is such a spiritual and um, kind of outwardly and inwardly, I guess, um, thing and feeling could be replicated with magnetic fields. Like you understand what I'm saying? And then this right here is really good um, for writers of supernatural horror. Um, the prerequisite of this deadlock is that it ensures the larger part of humanity will remain in a state of fear because no one can ever be certain of either his own um, ontological, ontological status or that of gods, demons, alien invaders, and sundry other bugbears. A Buddhist would advise that we forget about whether or not the boogeymen we have invented or divined are real. The big question is this, are we real? And again, um, in reading through this whole thing, puppets are a really big metaphor, we should say. Um, and then when we get into debatability, there is a part that I really, really like and want to talk about here. As a species with consciousness, we do have our inconveniences, yet these are of negligible importance compared to what it would be like to feel in our depths that we are nothing but human puppets, things of mistaken identity who must live with their terrible knowledge that they are not making a go of it on their own and are not what they once thought they were. At this time, barely anyone can conceive of this happening, of hitting bottom and finding to our despair that we could never again resurrect our repressions and denials. Not until the day of lost illusions comes, if it ever comes, will we all be competent to conceive of such a thing. But met but a great many more generations will pass through life before that happens, if it happens. And that is the end of the first big chunk of the book. This isn't exactly what he's talking about, but I think it's a good point that connects with what he's talking about on a different level. And that is that none of us, not a single one of us, is doing what they want to do. We might be doing about what we want to do, but more likely than not, even if we are doing something that we want to be doing, we're either not as successful at it as we would like to be, or we're doing something we don't want to do, but are slightly comfortable with it because of the monetary compensation we're getting for that thing. It's a, it's a strange thing to know that, and I mean, goddamn, if I'm wrong about this, let me know in the comments down below that you guys are all fucking happy and um, you guys are perfectly content with your um, situation in life. Because that would be actually good to know because I'm kind of speculating this a little bit, but if we use the, um, if we believe the argument and use the argument that um, we are cursed with consciousness and um, we're constantly in this like screwed state of entropy, um, it would be really 
curious to well with all that being said not only is the entropy physical but the entropy um could also be spiritual the entropy could be emotional the entropy could be um i don't know can you have egotistical entropy now i'm just asking weird questions that might not even be legit but anyway, I think you get what I'm saying here. So let me know down below if if you are completely happy and content with your life and you're doing exactly what you've always wanted to do and are being compensated fairly for that thing of which you are doing. Um, next time, we are going to be doing In a Foreign Town in a Foreign Land out of Teatro Grotesco. So look forward to that. Um, I'm going to have a list of all the days things that we were supposed to be doing and now we're back on track again so um i will see you guys later bye i just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible anarchy crew and my followers on patreon i appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible you guys are awesome and if you'd like to join the crew or the anarchy crew just hit the join button beneath this video and if you'd like to become a member of my patreon you can run over to the link down below to do that as well thank you